Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I've been playing Civilization for a long time. It's, as much as I say like, oh, I'm first person shooters, you know, Elder Scrolls and Zeldas and Mario, um, Civ was kind of that middle of the childhood game that came, and I love it. I like this game so much, it's so much fun. And one of the things that made Civilization 2 II and 3, and when I played it 4, very, very special to me, and I don't know if 5 had these, was they had pre-made scenarios. And it wasn't just any pre-made scenarios. It wasn't like rule sets. It was the maps were designed, right? Civilization II, you had World War II in the Atlantic. They had the entire Atlantic theater, 1938, I believe, instead of 39, but it might have 38. You played through World War II. Wonderful. Civ II, it was easy, it had a basic graphics engine, so they had one where you played as bears, you played as dinosaurs, you played in space, you played on Mars, right? They they had these other scenarios where like ancient times, Japan, you know, Civ 3, you got to play feudal Japan, you got to play colonizing America, and you got victory points from bringing stuff back from America, or you had to play as the Native Americans, and your goal was to fend off the people coming from the, Europe, you know, it was dope, it was so cool, all these, all these pre-made things, and I miss that, especially now in Civ 6 and 5 and 6, where like, you know, you, you got better computers to process better things, you know, you can rebalance the game, I guess lack of units is a, a thing that exists, but even then, like, you can do so much with this game. I mean, there's a version where you just... There's a scenario in Civ 3, okay? Where you just play ancient Rome, right? It's ancient Roman times, before Rome conquered all of Italy, and you can pick if you're the Romans, the Greeks, the Macedon... I don't know if the Macedonians are in it. The Carthaginians, and do your thing in Civ. It's amazing! And, you know, all these scenarios took the, the formula of you know, let's just play normal Civ and flip it on its head. Because in these scenarios, they also changed up the tech tree. There's no civics tree, just a tech tree. But like, instead of Rome starting with like all the ancient techs and you can go to the medieval age, it was like, okay, look, we have these techs to upgrade our legions. We have these techs to upgrade our builders, techs to upgrade roads, boats, and you stayed in the ancient era, right? You still had these beautiful races of technology and settling, but it was in the ancient era, all right? In World War II, you know, at, at the beginning of the game, if you played as the Axis powers, or in the other case, the other one, Japan, if you played as Japan at the start, then you had an advantage, but you didn't have as much production as the Allied forces. So it was kind of different, you know? You had to pick and choose your battles. And they had some random ones. Like, there was one in Civilization 2 where there was Boy Island and Girl Island. Literally, I remember this scenario. One side started on an island that was in the shape of the guy symbol, and one was in the female symbol. And you just... That was it. You played Civ, but you started with the, the, the this island like that, you know? It was super cool. So, you know, I just wish that they brought those back. Those were fun, man. Those were so much fun. I'm remembering them all now. Just, it was cool to, you know, play and explore different ideas. And, you know, instead of taking a nation from 4000 BC to 2150 AD or whatever, I think it ends in 2050, that, you know, you got to stay in like 1492 to the 1600s. It was dope. So, guys, I have a question. What was your favorite pre-made scenario from the old Civilization games? Let's talk about them. I think mine has to be either the World War II Japan one from Civ 3, or the one where you colonize America from Europe. Probably one of those two, or the one where you played as bears from Civ 2 just because it was crazy. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. That's it for this video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.